This is problem 527, it's on page 223. A car engine with a power output of 90 kilowatts has a thermal efficiency of 28%. Determine the rate of fuel consumption if the value of the fuel is 44,000 kilojoules per kilogram. Now that heat, that value of the fuel that they're giving at the end is just telling you how much thermal energy you get out by burning one kilogram of the fuel. It's called the heating value. In this case, it's probably the lower heating value, but I'll just call it the heating value because they didn't specify. So the heating value of the fuel is 44,000 kilojoules per kilogram. It's probably the heating value of gasoline. That's, that's a pretty close, pretty common number. Uh, the power output of the engine is 90 kilowatts, and the thermal efficiency is 28%. Now before we get into the solution, the solution is actually pretty simple, the math is straightforward. But we need to understand what we're actually talking about here. So let's draw a block diagram of what's going on so that we can understand this. Basically what happens is we put fuel into the engine, combustion takes place, and chemical energy is transformed into thermal energy. In other words, you burn stuff and it gets hot. <laughs> That's basically all we're saying. Okay. That thermal energy goes into the engine itself, which has an efficiency of 28%. The engine is going to produce some power. In fact, that power is 90 kilowatts. Right? That's what this is and it's going to throw away waste heat. So this is waste thermal energy. The whole point of doing all this is to get this 90 kilowatts. We're not trying to stay warm here, we're just trying to get work out. So basically we're going to put in this, some of this is going to go this way, most of it's going to go that way. In fact, that's what the thermal efficiency is all about. The thermal efficiency just says that, well, the ratio of the power output to the heat input is the thermal efficiency. So basically, 28% of this is going to come out here. So 28% of the stream goes this way. So what percentage of the stream goes through and is waste heat? 72%. If I did the math right, 72 and 28 should be 100. So 72% comes out as waste, 28% comes out as work. Okay. We were supposed to find, though, the mass flow rate of the fuel. That's what the question asks. Uh, because they asked for the rate of fuel consumption, which would just be a mass flow rate. I don't see any mass flow rates here, but notice that the heat flow rate is related to the fuel, right? So the quicker you put fuel in, the quicker the heat flow should come out, right? The more you, fuel you burn per unit of time, the quicker you should be putting heat into the engine. In fact, the way of quantifying that is that the heat flow rate in would simply be the mass flow rate of the fuel multiplied by the heating value of the fuel. This shouldn't be much of a surprise. If you've ever increased the performance of your car, you know that you have to put more fuel in. Fuel in at a higher rate. In my diesel Jetta, uh, when you make some changes, you can go to, to larger injection uh, injectors. And that just sprays more fuel in, so your engine <coughs> can do more in a shorter amount of time, more power output. It's not as efficient, but it's more fun. <laughs> so I guess it depends on what your goal is, right? What's your desired output? That should be the, <laughs> the role. Instead of the, where do you want to go today? I think that's Microsoft's. Should be. What's your desired output for the most states? <laughs> so here's how we can quantify it. Well, since this is just the heat flow rate in, then the power output over the heat flow rate in is just the mass flow rate of the fuel multiplied by the heating value of the fuel. So finally, we've got what we're looking for. We just need to solve for it. We need the mass flow rate of the fuel. As I said, the math is pretty straightforward. You guys could all do this. Mass flow rate of the fuel would be simply the power output of the engine divided by oops, the thermal efficiency multiplied by the heating value of the fuel. Just solve for it algebraically. 
Well, the power output of the engine is 90 kilowatts. The efficiency is 28%. And the heating value of the fuel is 44,000 kilojoules per kilogram. Now, it may not look like this is going to come out very well, but it will, because a kilowatt is just a kilojoule per second. See how the kilojoules go away? And we end up with kilograms per second. This would be mass of fuel flow per ton. So when you plug it, plug it all into your calculator, you get about 7.31 times 10 to the negative third kilograms per second. There's the mass flow rate of the fuel. That's what we're asked to find. Questions? The key here is understanding what the thermal efficiency really is saying and understanding that when you burn fuel, you get heat out. 